Hi everyone. In this session we're going to be having a look at animation that's been generated from an audio soundtrack. The current setup is some speakers that have been created inside the application and I'm using a displacement map to animate the pulsating from the speakers during the beat of the soundtrack. Instead of manually keyframing this, what we're going to do is we're going to go into the animation menu and to the right of the channel editor you will find the audio tab. Inside here you can choose how you're going to work with sound. Firstly, if you bring a clip in from the desktop you can then load that audio in and work with it straight away. Alternatively you could also go ahead and switch to the import option and import in your audio source from outside the application. Once the audio has been loaded in you can immediately start playing it back and hearing what it sounds like. What you can also do at this point is once your soundtrack has been loaded you can then go ahead and map it to your audio channel. So for example I want to go ahead and link it to the Z displacement of the speakers to make them pulsate. So I simply switch to the mapping channel and choose link to channel. When I confirm this you can see how the soundtrack has been created. Now the thing is, is I only want the speakers to start bumping or beating at the beat. So what you can do is in the media panel you can go ahead and slip the sound up to the point where we would like to hear the beat. So for example if I was to slip my audio let's say a few frames down I've now got it happening on the beat so if I play this back I can then hear exactly when my beat is starting. The other issue is you can see how the pulsating is happening constantly. Okay, We only want it to happen on the beat. So what you can do is you can move down to the filtering area. What the filtering area allows you to do is it allows you to go ahead and filter the frequencies that you want to keep. So for example if I start playing this I can start pulling down the levels to start isolating only the beats I like. I can either do this manually or we can go ahead and choose one of the easy options. So if I just want to work with the bass I choose the bass option and you can now see how the channel editor has adjusted just to pulse or just to adjust the value when the bass is occurring. The thing is is that the values that are being generated right now if we have a look at the mapping is giving me a value between 0 and 1. These can all be changed to give us whatever we'd like. So for example let's say I set the maximum value a little bit higher to about 75 and I want the speakers always to be uh, seen, the embossing. So I'm not going to have it at 0 which gives me a flat image. I'm going to set it to about 10. This means that this will always be pulsating and the extrusion will always be seen whether it's very low or very high. But the really good thing is if I start playing this back right now, we can start seeing the results straight away in the screen without having to render the result. At this point, we can then just carry on animating other channels and this channel will stay linked to the audio. If I wanted to tweak this channel once the audio has been linked to it, in its current state I cannot do that. All you need to do at this point is just simply undo the link to channel option and then the curve will automatically be created into a keyframed curve. If I wanted to return back to an audio curve, I simply just click the link to channel one more time and when we confirm this, you can then see how the curve has been created. Once I'm happy with this animation, we can then move on and make further adjustments to refine the overall look of our speaker animation. <laughs>